Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're great. So in this video, I wanna show you how to create a dynamic footstep sound system. So if I walk here, I have this default footstep sounds, right? But if I walk on the grass, we have the grass footstep sounds. We have the, the gravel one here, as you can see, is a different one. And of course, we have the concrete one as well. So this is basically what I'm going to show you in this video. And this will work with landscape textures as well. So I created this simple landscape material here just to show you this. So here we have the grass footsteps, right? But if we walk in this area, we have the gravel footsteps. And of course, in the other side, we have the concrete footsteps, as you can hear. So basically, this will work with textures in the landscape as well. But before we start, if you do like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't lose any new content. So without further ado, let's start. Okay, so I'm here in the third person template and first let's create the sounds. So I got these sounds here, these footstep sounds. I have one for concrete, one for grass and one for gravel. So let me show you this. This is concrete. I have this one, grass and one file for gravel, this one here. So as you can see, I have only one file, so I wanna create a meta sound. So each time that we play, we play with a different pitch. So I will do a meta sound for this. So let's create the meta sound. Let's start with the gravel. So here in the same folder, just right click and go to audio and meta sound source. Let's create one. I will name this MS uh, footstep gravel like this. Let's open this and let's start making the sound. First, we need to play the sound. So to play the sound here in the graph, just right click and search for wave player. Let's get this one here, wave player mono. Let's click on this. And as you can see, we have a lot of options here. So let's just connect on play here on the on play, on finish on the on finish event here, and the out mono on the out mono output. So now we just need to select an audio here. So just click this and select the audio that we want. So now we are creating the gravel, right? So let's select this one here. This is the gravel sound. So now each time that we hit play here, as you can see, we play the sound. But I want that each time that we play, we play with a different pitch. So as you can see here, we have the pitch shift option. So we need to use this option here to change the pitch, right? So let's drag from this and let's type random here. So we have this node here, random float in the random category. So just click on this. And as you can see, we have this node here. Let me just put this to the side. And now let's connect the on play on the next and this on next on the play of the wave player, right? So we have this setup here and now we can select a minimum value and a maximum value. So for this, I will select minus two for the minimum and two for the maximum. So now each time that we hit play, we should have the sound with a different pitch. So let's hear. So as you can see, this is working. And this is basically all we need to do to give the illusion to have more sounds than you have, right? So now I will do the same thing for the other footstep sounds. Okay, so I created all the meta sounds that we need. So this is for concrete. As you can see, each time that we play, we have a different pitch. And I created this one here for grass. So now we just need to use this in the system. Okay, so now that we have the sounds, we need a way to check on what surface we are walking. And to do this, I will use the surface type inside the physical material. So first, we need to add the surface types. To do this, just go to Edit and Project Settings. And here, just search for uh, Physical Surface. Let me type here, Physical Surface. And you will have this list here is a surface type list and you can add up to 62 here. So the first one here, let's type grass. So I will add grass. Then let's add gravel 
and concrete so this is basically all the surface that i have here but of course you can put as many as you want so i will have these three grass gravel and concrete let's close this and now we can create the physical material okay so i created this folder here physical materials to put all the physical materials right so now just right click and go to physics and physical material and here select physical material let's select this i will name this PS for physical material and then I will type grass because this is the grass physical material, right? Let's open this and the only thing that you need to change here is the surface type. Let's select here grass and let's save. So now you just need to create a physical material for every surface that you have. Okay, so I created all the physical materials that I need. Just don't forget to open and change the surface type here to whatever you want, right? So now let's do the code. So I want to play the sound each time that we take a step on the animation. And the best way to do this is with an animation notify. So I created this folder here in blueprints, animation notifies. Let's open this and here let's create one. So just right click and go to blueprint class. And here in all classes, just search for anim notify and you will have this class here. Just select this and create. I will name this AN for animation notify. Let's name this footstep, like this, footsteps. And now let's open this and let's do the code. Okay, so here we need to override a function. So here in functions, just click on override and select received notify. This function will fire each time that the animation reaches this notify in the timeline. So you will probably understand this when we add this notify in the animation. So for now, let's just do the code. First, we need to check on what surface we are walking. And I will do this with a line trace by channel. So let's just add a line trace by channel here. Just right click and type line trace by channel. Let's get this one here. Let's connect the execution pin like this. And now we need to give a start and end location. So for the start location is the location of the mesh component. So let's drag from the mesh component here and let's type get world location, this one here. And I will add 10 units on the Z here just to make sure that we are not inside the ground, right? That we are not starting inside the ground. So here in the return value, let's just add uh, 10 on the Z here, right? And this is the start location. For the end location, we need to get a downwards vector. So here, let's just right click and type make uh, vector. Let's select this one here and let's put minus one on the Z. So now we just need to multiply this with some kind of distance. So here in variable, let's create one. I will name this check distance and let's change here the type to float. Let's compile so we can change the default value. And here I will put 20 like this. Let's compile and save. And now we just need to multiply this vector here with the distance. So let's just multiply this with the check distance. And now we just need to add this on the start location. So here in the start location, let's just type add here. So we get this operator. And let's connect this second vector here. And this is the end location. So let's just connect on the end here. So now if we hit something, we need to uh, select the correct footstep sound to play. So here after the line trace, let's connect a branch in this return value here. So let's drag and type branch. Let's connect the execution pin. And of course, this will be true if we hit something and false if we didn't hit, right? So if we hit something, we need to select the correct audio to play. So first we need to spawn the audio. So right click and type spawn uh, sound at location. Let's use this node here, spawn sound at location. Let's connect the execution pin here and here like this and let's check this return value uh, like this so now we need to select this sound to play so to select this sound we need to use the surface type right so let's break this out hit here let's just type break so we have all the informations and as you can see we have the physical material here so basically let's drag from this sound here and type select so we have this node here let me just make some room 
like this. So basically based on an index, we will select the options, right? And this index is the surface type in the physical material. So from the physical material here, just drag and type surface type. So we have this one here, get surface type. And this is a num. So let's just connect on the index here. And as you can see, we have all the options here, the default and grass, gravel and concrete. So now you just need to select the correct sound. So for the grass, let's select the meta sound for the grass. So this one here, let's select the gravel one. So this here, and so let's select the concrete. So I will select this one here and I recommend that you select a default sound as well. So for me here, I will select the concrete one. So this one here. So there you go. So now basically uh, based on this surface type, we will select the correct sound. Now we need to connect a location to spawn this sound. So the location will be basically the mesh component location, right? So because we are inside a function, we can get this input anywhere. Just right click and type the name of the input. So mesh comp in this case, let's get this input here. And from this, let's type get world location. And this will be basically the location that we will spawn this sound. Now let's expand this node so we can change some settings. So here I will basically change the volume multiplier. I will put here 0.3, but of course you can put any values that you want here. Just make sure the auto destroy is checked. So this will basically destroy this, this um, sound component after the sound finishes, right? So just make sure this is checked. And now we just need to give this a attenuation settings. So now let's create these attenuation settings. So let's go back to the folders and here in sounds footsteps, I will create the sound attenuation. So just right click and go to audio sound attenuation. I will name this SA for sound attenuation and foot steps. So now I want to see these settings in the level. So to see this, we need to add this attenuation to a sound. So let's open any meta sound here. So I will open this gravel one. So if you click on source here, you will have these settings here. And here, as you can see, we have attenuation settings. So just select the attenuation that you created. So this one here. Let's save. And now if we put this meta sound in the world like this, we can see these two spheres. So this is basically the attenuation settings. So now let's change this. So let's open the attenuation settings, this one here. Let me put to the side. So basically, if you are inside this small sphere here, you will hear the meta sound, right? You will hear the sound at maximum uh, volume, right, that you set. And as we go further away from this small sphere, the sound will become lower. The volume will be lower, right? And if we are outside this bigger sphere, you will not hear the sound. So you can change this by changing the inner radius of the attenuation sound and the fall of distance. So the re inner radius here will change this small sphere, right? So I will put like this and this fall of distance will change this bigger sphere. So as you can see, I'm just make this like this. Now let's save and we can delete this meta sound from the world like this. And let's clear these attenuation settings because I just added this just to make the changes on the settings, right? So let's clear this. Let's save. Let's go back to the animation notify. And here where we spawn the sound here, let's select the attenuation. So this one here. And there you go. This is basically it. And now we just need to add this animation notify footsteps on all the animations that we want the footstep sounds. So I'm using the third person template here. So we have some animations. Let's go to characters, mannequins, animations and queen. I'm using the queen here. So let's open this run forward animation. And now we just need to add the notifies here. So as you can see, we already have a notify track here. So we have the right and left foot here. These are markers uh, when the foot hits the ground, as you can see. So this will help us. So now let's just add another notify track here in notifies. Just click on track and add notify. And each time that the foot hits the ground, we need to add the animation of five footsteps. So here in the second track, just right click and go to add notify and animation of five footsteps. This one here. Now let's just copy this and paste in all the places that the foot hits the ground. As you can see, so we have these markers here. You just need to click where you, you want to put this notify and just 
press Ctrl V to paste it like this. So let me just put here, here, and here. And if you want to read this better, just add another notify track. So let me add one here and just put this on the other track, as you can see. So now if we hit play, we should have the default sound, as you can see. And of course, if we hit play, we should have the sound as well, the footstep sounds, the default one, right? Now let's just add the surface to the map to test this. So I will add a simple cube here. So let's go to a uh, quick add to product here, shapes and cube. Let me add this. Let me change the size like this. Let me put here. Let's increase the size of this. And to make this a surface, we just need to add the physical material. So again, if we go here to physical material, let me make this grass. So let me select the physical material grass here. And in the details of this static mesh, if we scroll down, you will see that we have this physical material override. Just put the correct physical material here, right? And now if we hit play, we should have the, uh, the sound when we walk in this surface, right? So here we have the default one. And if we walk here, we have the grass footsteps, as you can see. Okay, so I added these surfaces here so you can see this working. So if I hit play, as you can see, we have the grass footstep sound, the gravel and concrete. So this is basically working. And I created this really simple landscape material just to show you that this will work with textures that you paint in the landscape. So if you go to the layers info of your landscape, uh, you, as you can see here, I have the concrete, grass and gravel. If you open the layer info, as you can see, we can put a physical material. So let's select the grass one here. Let's save. And if I hit play now, we should have the grass footstep sound, as you can see. So let's go back and let's add uh, for the concrete here. Let's add the concrete physical material, this one. And let's add the gravel one as well, like this. And now if you select the landscape and change to landscape mode, let's change here and paint the other textures here. So let me just paint this one like right here, the gravel right and the concrete right here. Let me paint this. Let's go back and hit play. As you can see, we will have different footstep sounds. So now we have the grass one, but if we go here, we have the gravel, right? And of course, if you go to the concrete part here, we will have the concrete footstep sounds, as you can see. So this will work with textures that you paint in the landscape. And this is basically it. I hope you can learn something new with this video. So if you did like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't lose any new content. And as always, thank you for watching. Keep learning. I'll see you in the next video.